Well, I just wanted to give everybody an update on the old Model T engine. The, uh, the engine that came out of the Model T is really badly worn, as I mentioned, and we've done a tear down of the transmission and things, and I've done a parts inspection. I found a reverse drum, which uh, is a nice thing, but in the meantime, a uh, used engine became available, and I was told it was a 26, but when I uh, got to looking at the serial number, it's at least a 27, because it's in the 15 million range, and in fact, somebody wrote on it. that it's a May of 1929. So, uh, I still need to do some research on that. But the good news is that I was able to um, look at this engine. It's uh, the bore, the pistons, everything look good. I don't see any cracks in the head or the block. Now there is a little bit of moisture in the cylinders, but I'm thinking that's because this thing sat around for a while. Uh, with the head actually um, unbolted. There was no head gasket on it and the head bolts were just there so no plugs in it. So I figure that this is going to be the engine that's going to go in the T for a little bit. So what I'm going to do I'm going to check out uh, check out the bands and everything. I do have a set of bands and uh, I've got a screen to go in here on the on the hog's head, so that's where we stand right now. And this also has a external oil line. So I'm going to take this engine. I'm going to put it in the Model T, and I guess hopefully find out if it's going to run. It also came with a, a fairly new generator, and it came with a starter. So. It would complete with Bendix. Anyway, um, certainly more to come. All right, here we. Uh, I went ahead and removed the hogshead so I could get in uh, and see what's going on with the trans. And it looks like this just might be the very reason that they stopped using this engine. I don't know if you can actually see or not, but this. Uh, low gear band <coughs> drum is just completely worn out. The other two drums look okay. Of course, once they're out of there, that could be a different story. But she's certainly a mess. And I've, uh, I've checked the mag, though, and it looks real nice all the way around. So I don't think, unless I have to, I'm not... Um, looking to, to remove that uh, flywheel. But we will have to get the pan off and uh, so we can get the transmission apart. Anyway, that's how this engine stands so far. But I don't know if I can get my hand on it here. It does turn pretty freely. Uh, we'll see, I guess we'll see just what all is left in here. Okay, the hog's head is off, and so I just want to show you how bad that uh, low gear drum is. You can see that gap right there. So it's in pretty sorry shape. Now I'm trying to melt through some of this crud so that I can get this end plate off this drum or off the other the disc drum so we can get that apart and then I'm going to have to pull this whole thing off of here. But anyway 
You know, I say anyway too much at all. So here we go. Let that soak for a little bit, and hopefully it'll finally come off of there. When we're back at it, we got the drums off. That was a that was a real battle, and uh, wasn't very enjoyable. It's a hundred and one degrees today out in the shade, and there's no shade other than in, in this uh, metal shop. But as you can see, the reverse drum is broken completely across. The low drum is completely worn out. Hey. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, I had to cut, actually cut the the uh, three washers off to get them off the shaft. They were so beat up and worn out. And this, uh, so this brake drum is worn very bad, and uh, all the rivets that hold it to the to its hub and such are all loosened up. So. That's the story on that. Two out of the three triple gears had uh, problems with the, the bushings being spun in the gear, so definitely need to rebush those. But on the good news, I see no problems at all with this coil. I'm going to check that out before it all goes back in, but it looks looks good, and the magnets actually feel pretty strong compared to the to the other one. So I'm pretty much uh, I'll probably uh, take the gears off these drums. Those are always useful. They do look like they're okay. Of course, when I get them cleaned up, I'll know for sure. But I've checked this engine out. It doesn't seem like the uh, the bearings are loose or anything. There's not, uh, very little in, in play. So I will at least be able to use the engine. And I have most of the transmission parts on the other engine are good. So I have replaced the reverse drum and... Uh, Got enough parts. I think I can just about get this transmission finished up. So I'll uh, get this all cleaned up and then we'll uh, look at the progress. Well, I have another update for what has turned out to be an engine swap more than anything. Like I said before, I've used most of uh, the parts from my old transmission, but I've uh, retained the flywheel and everything off the replacement engine, and uh, that engine looks pretty good. So I just wanted to go around and show you. I've put everything together. I replaced the bushings and the triple gears, and uh, had to use a reamer to expand them so they'd fit on the the pins. And when you do that, you've got to give them enough room to actually flop around a little on those pins to, to make it all work. But that's where it stands for right now. I just wanted to show you that uh, we do have that transmission pretty much put back together. So I'm going to be turning it up on its head here and upside down and uh, we'll get that oil pan going. That's it for now. I'll check in uh, when I make some more progress.
Well, we have the bands realigned. I had to actually replace one of the bands. It just simply snapped off when I was, you know, straightening things out. So, that's done. Next step will be to get the hog's head on. But there was one more thing that I really uh, decided I couldn't overlook, and that is that cam gear. Those teeth are worn off to where there's you know, 40 thousandths backlash on that thing. So I have ordered new cam gear and uh, all the parts that go along with putting that in. So I'll get that in. Then we'll get the old hog's head cleaned up and make sure that it doesn't have any leaks anywhere and get that put in. So little by little we're uh, going to get the job done here. I did look at, I, I pulled some uh, some rods, uh, caps, and and uh, everything looked really good in there. Just needed some oil. The uh, cylinders look okay, so I will simply be putting it back together and hope to have it together this week and uh, possibly even in the car so I can get it running. That's it for now. We'll uh, keep you posted as time goes on. Progress on the Model T. I've got uh, transmission put together. I've got the oil pan installed and my fourth main is free moved easily, so I'm happy for that. Didn't have to do any uh, too much pounding away on this old uh, oil pan. So all that is back in. I checked the valves and it looks like I'm going to have to remove them and lap them in because Although they're not leaking bad, they are leaking. And of course that gives me a great opportunity to go in here and clean this mess up. All I can say is whoever drove this its last didn't have any, uh, any plans on using it after they were done with it because they uh, didn't change the oil, and I did find a huge problem with this old the oil pan that came on it. And I was going to use it because it looks so nice on the engine, on the part that goes with the engine. But so here's this oil pan. Looks all right here. Going on down, there were some strip bolts in that uh, dipper tray there. The bottom of the pan, which, you know, that, you know, overcome all that. <coughs> but, and then you get down to this huge gob of weld. Now, I don't know if it leaks or not. They certainly put on enough material that they were hoping it wasn't going to leak. But I really think that in that there was a leak. I would plan on keeping this pan, but I'm going to have to take all that, other, all that out of there and patch that hole properly. And I would imagine, I don't know, I'm just imagining I cut a hole in the pan to get something out of there that it was either dropped in or came apart. But that's the progress report. So next I'll get the valves lapped in, cleaned up. Make sure everything's okay there, and then the head will go on. And, uh, of course, the hog's head.
and we'll get all that done, get everything adjusted up and get it back in the car. And I hope to have it running before the car show on Friday.